welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are having a great day. I'm having a good one, firing it off with a little drive in the Huracan, a little POV and a little rear cam action. Always fun. And this car is such a little ripper. Go, go! <laughs> Woo! What are we doing today? Well, we're going to the shop and uh, we're picking up a new truck and we're doing all kinds of other fun stuff. It's going to be a great one, no doubt. So stick around and we'll have fun together. All right, guys, so what are we doing today? Well, I'm grabbing the Denali because I bought a new truck, the replacement for the Denali. And finally, it's not a TRX and not a Duramax. I know the GMC was like kind of different because it's a GMC and I didn't have a GMC before, but I mean, let's be real, it's a luxury version of a regular Chevy, which I've had multiple. So it's finally a truck that's not a TRX or a Duramax, something completely different for once, right? Yes, I'm grabbing this truck to take it to Whitmore for a final inspection because, and then a detail, because the giveaway is over. Not quite though, it actually ends on the night that I'm going to upload this. So at 11.59 p.m. it ends. If you haven't entered yet, hit the link down below. All it takes is one entry. One lucky entry is all it takes. Now, yeah, you can get a lot of stuff too, which doesn't hurt, but all it takes is one lucky entry, something small like a key tag. I picked this out, student driver, the best selling one, and a little AK keychain. Something small and cool like that can win you that truck in 10 grand and win you the ZR1 as well. If you don't win the truck, uh, we are going to draw the winner for the truck first. If you don't win the truck and you enter now, you can still win the ZR1 because right now you're getting entered for both automatically. Of course, every $1 that you spend here on the last day gets you 10 entries for the truck and 10 for the Corvette. Likely we'll have two winners, but if you're really lucky, if you're a real, like the luckiest person on earth, you could win both. You could win the truck and then get another call and win the ZR1. Yeah, I can't lie. It's a pretty sweet deal. Pretty good deal, pretty epic combo for you. If you want to change your life forever, last chance to do it, hit the link down below. And now let's grab the Denali. I promise we're about to go, but one final thing, because I know that a lot of you are like me and I wait until the last minute to do anything. I've been like that my whole life. It made school kind of suck. But if you're watching right now on the fence thinking, should I enter at the last minute? You should, because a lot of our winners have entered on the last day. Now that doesn't have anything to do with it, but I think a lot of people just wait that long. Yes, you could win that truck. Something as small, again, as a keychain, a key tag, whatever, 10 bucks could win you this truck and 10 grand, and you even get my hitch with it. Now, if the $40 trailer hitch doesn't seal the deal, I don't know what will, but one of you is going to take this truck home and it's going to be very, very soon. So hit the link down below and good luck. All right, guys, well, we're here and the new truck is there, but one more thing. I know I keep saying one more, one more, but this is really it. I had to say thank you to you guys for your awesome support with the channel and the company. People often ask, what's my favorite part of my job? And I love all of it. I'm very lucky. I have a great job that I truly love. But the best part is giving away a cool car or truck every 45 days. And it's not a charity. I make money on this, as you guys know. But it really does make me feel good. It makes me feel like, you know, that's the one thing that makes me feel like I'm doing something bigger than just myself, beyond me. Helping someone out in a little way, but it's something. Anyway, I'll stop talking. Here is the new truck, a 2022 Ram Power Wagon, baby. There she is. Oh yeah, well, this is very exciting. Out of the GMC, into the Power Wagon, boys. A 2022 Power Wagon in this awesome green color. When I saw that color, I knew I had to have it. And uh, check out the size here. We know the GMC is on a four inch Cognito, looking real good. So she's big, but uh, the Power Wagon bone stock ain't really that much smaller, even though it's on a much smaller tire. We got what, that's on a 35, and this is a uh, 285, 70, 17, so about 30, a little bit over 33. I think we'll put her on a 37. That will look really good, 37s right away. Luckily, look at all the, <laughs> unlike, unlike GM, where everything is so freaking tight, you have to have a big lift to go with anything, and you have to delete the mud flaps. Check out all the space you have on this truck. You could run, man, I think a 37 or bigger without doing it, without even a leveling kit on there. You got tons of room to turn all the way in. And of course up front, the Power Wagon is a badass truck. And on that note, if you don't know what the Power Wagon is all about, I'm here to tell you. It is a, a working truck, but an off-road one. So if a Ram TRX and a regular Ram 2500 had a baby, it would be 
this. It is a gasser, got the 6.4 Hemi, making like 430, I think, around there. Plenty of power, not quite 700, but plenty of power. And like I said, it's really a working truck built to work off-road. You can tow an RV, like an off-road RV, or maybe do a overland camping setup. And I may or may not be planning something just like that. But uh, let me tell you how serious it is. It's not a sticker job. It's not like, oh, power wagon, but nothing mechanical. It's got a locking rear and a solid locking front. It's on eight lug axles, as you can see. And you know, it's got the off-road suspension. It's got more ground clearance. It's really quite a serious off-roading machine. Check out the inside. Now it's not that much different than my TRX, but um, it is a level three truck. And for this reason, it's a little rare. Most of them have the bench uh, in the front, but I wanted the full console here. So I had to go level three and they're actually kind of hard to find. And the back is a little different here. It's got a full flat folding back, I would imagine for back seat for, or not the seat really, but a, a platform that I would guess is for sleeping or other laying down activities. Super neat, very interesting. Got a speaker system back here. So that was a cool find. Pumped, baby, I am pumped about the power wagon. There she is, boys. Now there are a few things I don't like. I don't like the grill. Hold on, sorry, the wind is going to blow, but the grill with the vertical lines, I already have a new one on the way. Got the built-in winch, if I didn't say that. And I don't like these side steps here. These are aftermarket and they're going away. Other than that, she's ready. She's ready for a, a cool build. Check out the Lexus uh, ISF, I think. Pretty cool. But yeah, boys, picture it. The big green machine on chunky 37s with stuff in the bed, maybe towing a trailer, all kinds of cool stuff in the works. And on that note, the Denali is dropped off, ready for one of you to be its new owner. Sorry, the wind is blowing. And uh, we'll take the power wagon back to 717 Supply. Check out those Buicks. Oh yeah. The power wagon is back on. Well for now. The Denali era still isn't really over yet, but we're close now. I was gonna say it's hard to believe the Denali era is over already, but truthfully, it's not because the truck will come back here and then we'll have the winner. We should have a winner back. By the way, it ends tonight, like I said. Um, we should have a winner back within about 10 days. So we should be calling pretty soon. About 10 days from now, we should have a winner and we'll be calling. And uh, then we'll bring the winner in our first ever winner to come here to 717 Supply. And uh, they'll see the facility and get their truck and uh, take the cash and it'll be fun. But the Denali, will be back here. So it's not like you're never gonna see it again. It's not over the Denali era, but the giveaway is going to be over and we're moving on. So although it is kind of hard to believe the Denali era is almost over, it was just, it was a lot of planning. It was like three months of looking forward to that and then getting everything here. And I mean, it's been, it's been a heck of a three months. It really has been, it's been wild, but it's been a blessing in disguise. Like I am extremely happy with how everything is here. I love the shop, getting the floors done next, but it looks really cool already, the hex lighting. So it's all been great, but it's been a process. And the Denali is the one that kicked it all off, you know? So it's, it's always going to be a special one. The Denali will always have a special place in my heart. However, this one ain't bad. So this will be truck number two. Now, of course, the ZR1 is giveaway number two, still going on after the Denali ends, but this truck will be the next one. However, like I said, uh, it won't run with the ZR1. So that's going to go for a while until June 18th, I believe. And then that ends, there will be a break in between. So it's not, there's not always going to be a giveaway going on, uh, but I am really genuinely very pumped about this truck. So starting off with the grill, that's getting replaced. I ordered another one, like I said, I need a new winch tag for sure. Might just uh, throw a key tag on there, try to rig it up so I can put a key tag on there. I don't know why, it's a brand new truck. It's like a year old and that's so faded. That looks like it's been on there for 35 years. Taking off the steps, doing wheels and tires, and I was thinking about a leveling kit, but really looking at the truck, I don't think it needs it, especially if we're putting gear in the back, which we may or may not be doing. Um, so I'll leave that and then an exhaust. Gotta wake this puppy up, but sadly Corsa, Corsa, what happened? They don't make one, uh, so we'll have to get creative. Maybe make one, we could do a pretty cool axle dump. We'll see. Lots of options and plans and possibilities, but hope you all enjoyed. That's all I got for you. If you did, give this upload a big thumbs up, take care and have a great night.
New glass tiles just came in. These are super nice. Look at the logo there, kind of carbon fiber, really cool. Super pumped about all of our designs that we have. I think we're doing a pretty good job, but these are great if you want to get one of those. We've got our full detail line, of course, everything your car could ever need. We got you covered. Scoot Ski Helmet. We have our M4 Bakery shirt, really cool there. Our 2A shirts. We have our 717 Logo shirts, Hurricanes Heroes gear. Always a great, uh, great partnership with them. And we have more of that. We have our Nobody 2024 political shirt. These are selling pretty good. We just got another order in because you guys know, I mean, you, you know how politics in the US works. We only get the cream of the crop candidates, right? Only the best here in the US when it's time to elect somebody. Uh, we have our flashbang lighters. These are really cool. Now, quick side note for obvious safety and legal reasons, we can't ship them with fuel. They do work, but you have to get fuel for them. We have our flags, we have stickers, we have knives, we have our metal signs. These are awesome. Uh, great art for your bedroom, man cave, garage, whatever. All kinds of different ones on there. We have our little magnets, uh, car company magnets, all kinds of neat stuff. We have more lighters, patches, key tags, the gated shifter keychain, that's sweet. Student driver key tag, daily key tag, um, all kinds of different ones. We have our dog stuff, harnesses, leashes, tennis balls, and then we have little things like pop sockets, we got bottle openers, we got valve stem caps, a little bit of everything here. So make sure you check out the website, get something you like and you're going to use every day anyway, and maybe change your life forever and win that truck in 10 grand or the ZR1, or you could win both. 